the cat flew up at Rosevale that evening. Lawrence Higgins, she cried, where have you been? You must be starving. Lawrence would have agreed. Could he have understood her words? And he polished off the bowl of the cat meat that was put before him and hoisted his. black bulk into the armchair and much to Mrs. Higgins' surprise, spent the night there. On Thursday evening, Lawrence Norman appeared from supper at Hillview. On Wednesday evening, Lawrence mentioned the number 8 at number 33. Not until Thursday evening did Lawrence Berkeley Lloyd repair for supper at the gables, much to the relief of the col colonel and his wife, who, of course, had not set eyes on their black cat since Monday. Chapter 7 Gradually, everyone grew used to the strange new states of affairs. The, their black cat now only turned up every four days. And gradually, as the weeks passed, Lawrence grew thinner. The boys noticed this, though only one of them knew why. You want a diet, Tiggins, old pal? asked Bert. Sort of, said Lawrence. You're looking a lot fitter, Norman. Old chum, said Fred. I feel it, said Lawrence. To Percy, he said, I've lost some weight. What's the man's, what's that man's an old maid? said Percy. I've lost uh, some weight. Lost your plate? said Percy. No, wait. Eh? Wait! shouted Lawrence. Why should I? said Percy. What am I meant to be waiting for? As for Darius, he was delighted that his plan for his friend was working so well. After a month of dieting, Lawrence looked positively slim. Jolly good show, Barclay Leroy. Old boy, 